You know, if I would have been born a man, I would have written my memoirs at 19. But I was born a woman in the 40s in a very conservative, Catholic, closed society where women were expected to be mothers of somebody and wives and have maybe some kind of menial work to help meet its end at the end of the month. But, but you were not supposed to be successful in any field that was a man's field. And there were no role models for literature for female writers in Chile at the time. We had um, Gabriela Mistral, the Nobel Prize, but she looked like a man who wanted to be like her. And she had had a very unhappy life. And then there were, of course, some English spinsters that were all dead. They had committed suicide. Um, so we had, there, there were no role models. I, I became a journalist, and I think that deep in my heart I wanted to be a writer, but I would have never dared say it. It would have been so arrogant, so presumptuous of me. And then when we had the military coup in Chile in 1973, we left the country, went to Venezuela, lived in exile for 13 years, and I could not find a job as a journalist. And I had all these stories stuck inside that somehow I needed to get rid of them. And with the excuse of my grandfather's death on January 8, 1981, I started to write something that I didn't know what it was. I had never read a book review. I had no idea of the publishing world, no idea of how or that, that books were studied in universities, nothing. I was just a reader, an avid reader. And I wrote The House of the Spirits at night in the kitchen in our apartment in Caracas. By the end of the year, I had 500 pages and I had no idea what it was. Eventually, after a lot of adventures, the book was published in Spain. And it became one of those rare successes, an international success immediately. And that opened the door for my other books. My agent then said, this is a good book and it's doing excellent. That doesn't make you a writer. The writer is proven in the second book because everybody can write a good first novel in which they pour everything they have and everything they are. It's the second book that makes you a writer. So immediately I started a second book to please my agent and to prove to her that I could be a writer, but I was still working in a school. By my third book, I had to fill a form. And when I was filling the form instead of writing journalist or whatever I would use to write, or housewife, I wrote writer. And when I wrote that in the form, I felt that my life had changed in that moment. By then I was 47 years old and um, 45 years old. I was 45 years old when I, when I felt that I was a writer.